The 26th of October marks 40 days since the death of 22-year-old Mahasa Amini in the custody of Iran's morality police after she was arrested for allegedly breaching the Islamic dress code for women. The day marks the completion of the official mourning period. For over a month now, protests have been raging across okay. Iran, even in schools and colleges. Iranian security forces opened fire at thousands of protesters who had gathered today to pay tributes and mark the 40th day of Mehsa Amini's death. In her hometown of Sarkis, authorities blocked internet access. They say it is for security reasons. The state media say up to 2,000 people had gathered near Amini's grave to end the traditional mourning period. They chanted slogans like woman, life, freedom and death to the dictator. Several protesters blocked eight kilometers of a highway which uh, links Sarkis in the western province of Kurdistan to the cemetery. Reports say security services had warned Amini's family not to hold any ceremony in order to prevent any unfortunate incident. It's not just Amini's hometown though. Protests have been raging, as we said, across Iran, including capital Tehran. Iranian students chanted slogans at the University of Tehran. Protests have also been taking place in Mashhad and Ehwaz. Students have played a major role in these protests as several universities uh, called for a strike. School girls have been uh, protesting in classrooms and playgrounds by waving their scarves, even cutting their hair. Meanwhile, Iran's judiciary has pressed charges against 300 people involved in these protests following Mahasa Amini's death. This brings the total count of indictments to more than a thousand. At least Four people have been charged with an offence that carries the death penalty and others have been accused of acting against the country's security and assaulting security forces. The recent charges against demonstrators in the northwestern provinces of Zanja and West Azerbaijan as well as the northeastern Sem. Clearly, the authorities are not backing down. On the 6th, in the sixth week of the nationwide protest, the demonstrations have evolved into one of the most serious challenges to the Islamic Republic since the 1979 revolution. Rights groups say more than 230 protesters, including close to 30 children, have been killed in the violent crackdown by the security forces across Iran.